Okay, lab two, you will do a Hanzo lab on TFF. So TFF again means what? Tangential flow filtration, right? So yes, we have uh, several TFF bench type units in the lab. So you will get to use those to f perform one of these two operation, uh, operations in the lab. Uh, one is a purification of a dye molecule. Okay, uh, so we have a mixture, uh, yellow and blue dye molecules that have different sizes. Uh, you're trying to purify a yellow dye molecule from a mixture. Okay, you, you will see if a TFF can allow you to do that. The second operation you can do is the concentration operation. Remember what concentration operation means? Concentration operation means you will selectively remove the solvent only without losing your um, molecule. Okay, that's dissolved in solvent. So by doing so, the concentration of your molecule will go up, okay, because you are just removing the solvent on it. So you will use a very diluted blue dye solution, and from that you will remove the solvent, in this case the water, without losing blue dye. So blue dye will be uh, very pale blue at the beginning, and if you do a concentration operation, you will see a kind of dark blue uh, solution recovered at the end. Okay? So basic information about dye molecules that you will be using. Okay? So yellow dye is called SD yellow molecule. It has about 300 Dalton size. 300 Dalton is about 0.3 kilodalton. And the blue dye has dextrin blue molecule in there. It's a very large molecule. It has size about 2,000 kilodalton. Okay, so between these two molecules, there's a significant difference in their sizes. 2,000 kilodalton versus 0.3 kilodalton, right? And then um, we have a TFF cassette that has a membrane with the pore size of about 10 kilodalton. Okay, so molecular weight cut up means any molecule that's larger than 10 kilodalton size will be cut up. Okay, will be captured as retentate. That's what it means. Okay, so they will like go through the pore size as a fl flow uh, filtrate. Okay, permeate. Okay, that's what it means. Okay. So, so which one do you do you want to do? It depends on you know, what you want to uh, uh, be interested. So, whatever the method you want to do, you will have to follow this uh, operation uh, instruction. The first thing you need to do is. The flushing the TFF unit, okay, with water, Ophi water, nano pure water, okay. So the entire system will be rinsed with that water. During the time, okay, you're gonna carry out um, some simple validation process that is the pressure decay observation. So you'll have a pressure gauges, uh, maybe feeding in um, um, the flow, the pressure gauge, and then maybe. Um, filtrate a pressure gauge two of them but you have to look at the feed in pressure gauge and make sure it is maintained about five minutes of time point about 15 psi is what you want to keep your flow rate at at the pressure at once that's done and the conditioning uh, uh, step will follow but your dye solution is dissolved in nano pure water so you don't need a separate conditioning step Okay, and after that you can go ahead uh, do the process whichever you're gonna do purification or concentration, and then once that's done, you're gonna do a CIP. Actually, the CIP should be done at the beginning as well, but we're gonna we're gonna stop it. Uh, we're gonna I guess skip it. Okay, so just do one CIP at the end of your process. So after your operation is done, empty out the entire system, and then you fill the system with about 50 milliliter of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution. And using this solution, you clean out whatever the you know leftover solution is still in the system. And once that's done, you're gonna flush out the system with 70 mils of water again to make sure everything will be cleaned and residual sodium hydroxide solution will be gone. And during the time, you're gonna observe your pressure decay again to make sure there's no uh, damage on the membrane and no, um, I guess, disconnect in your tubing system, okay? So again, uh, you can do concentration operation of dextran blue solution or purification of the SD yellow from dextran blue and SD yellow mi mixture. Okay, you can choose uh, one of those two. And this is what your TFF unit uh, look like. There's a tank where you're gonna uh, introduce your initial material. And this is the filter cassette. 
and then the tubings are connecting the, the tank and the filter cassette and then this is the peristaltic pump that's going to create the uh, flow with some pressure okay so if you're going to do the concentration operation okay so after do, doing the you know washing the system with nano pure water and pressure decay observation you're going to add above 75 milliliter of dextran blue solution that's made up with 25 ml of dextran blue solution that's given in a bottle and mix that with 50 milliliter of nano pure water so you're diluting it out right and then out of that save about two mils of solution uh, as an initial material because you're going to do a spectral photometry assay at the end okay and then the rest of about 73 mils, you're going to add that to a uh, start uh, buffer tank and then you're going to start uh, doing TFAB operation at uh, 15 psi retentate pressure. It's the retentate pressure. And then you're going to recirculate the retentate until uh, the entire volume in the tank will become about 10 mil. So there will be a significant drop down from 75 to 10 mil. So you'll lose a lot of water. Okay, And during your operation, save but five of the permeate fraction permeate so if you look at the cassette there's a feed-in tubing and there's a permeate tubing that's coming out and then retentate tubing that's going back again okay so from the permeate tubing you're going to collect about uh, five of the um, permeate fractions to make sure that um, there's no blue solution that should be coming through there okay and then at the end you're going to collect the retentate okay and once the operation is done, you will do a CIP in the unit. And um, again, uh, after CIP, make sure there's no pressure decay to validate your cleaning. And if you are doing a, a acid yellow purification from the dye mixture, green solution, follow this. Same uh, about the initial step, uh, CIP and pressure decay observation. And then you start out with a 100 ml of green mixture solution that is made up with 50 ml of uh, dextran blue and 50 ml of acid yellow solution together. And then that will be the initial. And save 2 ml for your uh, spectrophotometry assay. And then, you know, you start out the TFF filtration at uh, 15 psi, same, you know, method. And you're going to collect permeate fraction, again, 5 ml fraction, um, multiple of those. And from this, your acid yellow should come out as a permeate because it's a small molecule is going to go through the TFF filter membrane. So you will see acid yellow uh, that's being separated and recovered from the, the permeate uh, tubing. Okay, and the recirculate the green mixture back to the tank. So until you only have 10 mils left, and you can extend the purification by adding 50 ml of water, and then at the end um, drain it, collect everything, uh, retentate, and then do the CIP and uh, pressure decay check again. Okay. So what to do? Uh, so at the end, you'll have of your fractions collected, your initial material and permeate fractions and retentate what's left in the tank. And you'll uh, assay those using your spectrophotometer measurement at 8460, which will detect the yellow color dye, and A600, which will detect the blue, dextran blue color dye. So of course, you make sure you use uh, plastic cubettes for this absorption. And to make sure you have a, a blank cubette made with just nano pure water only. Okay, so you you will measure the absorbance of your fractions, and you'll uh, based on this you can write your first lab report on this experiment. So I'm going to post the grading rubric for this. All right, and yeah, this is what the filter cassette looks like. There's a membrane. Uh, feed coming in, permeate going through, retentate coming going out. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.